Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the DX Rube Crystal Set 04. As you can see here, this set contains four Ultramen. You have Dinah, Ace, Mabius, and Cosmos. So, pretty cool there. Not too much going on in the back. Just shows how you can put them into the Rube Gyro, which of course we will take a look at. And also into the Rube Slugger. So let's get them out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here are the four crystals out of the package. First up, we have Mabius. Looks pretty cool. I really like the kanji symbol down here. It's like fire on top of fire. Here we have Cosmos. This one is Ace, I believe. Yes. And then this one is Dinah. So pretty cool. They all look very good. The colors are very fun. This one's green, light blue, dark blue, and red, of course. We'll go ahead and try them out here in the Rube Gyro. So first we'll do the Rosso configuration for Mabius. So, kind of just a generic sound that doesn't even really sound like a transformation sound or an attack sound. <laughs> so, again, unfortunately with these that are not special, like, actual forms for Rube, um, well, for Rosso and Blue they have that one sound. So it's the same sound when you first put it in, it's the same sound for the special attack, and even if you switch from Rosso to Blue, it's gonna be the same sound. So again, just that same sound again. Kind of a bummer. I like that it at least says the name of the Ultraman, but it doesn't really do... I mean, the sound effect is kind of boring after that. Uh, next up, we'll try uh, Cosmos. This one we'll do... We'll do Rosso with this one so it's not two blues. So, kind of a cool noise, but that's pretty much it. Next up, we have Ace. And then last up, we have um, Dinah. Sorry, I was blanking on his name there for a second. Got some Christmas colors going on. So that's kind of a cool sound. I like that one.
So it's another DX Rube Crystal set. Uh, unfortunately, I'm kind of starting to lose my enthusiasm for these because they just don't do a whole bunch in the Rube Gyro. Aesthetically, they look good. They're fun to collect. And the nice thing is these four packs are usually under 10 bucks before shipping. So if you like collecting them just because of the aesthetics and the, you know, I like how they look physically. They're fun to collect for that purpose and they're not too expensive. So there is that. But the sounds in the gyro are just like the name of the Ultraman and then a weird like sound and it's it's just kind of boring. I wish they could have at least put in like the name of their attack and then the sound or just a little something extra just to make it a little bit more fun. I did try them on my own in the Rube Slugger and they don't do any special sounds. It's just that Rube Slugger attack which is the generic sound for every crystal that's not one of the like six they made special <laughs> sounds for. So they just fall into that catch-all bucket. So, yeah, I mean, you guys know my feelings about these at this point. Aesthetically, physically, they look nice, colorful, the pictures are nice, the way the light comes through the kanji symbol is cool, there are various colors, which makes it fun when you have them all together, and the things on the back flipping out is kind of fun, but the sound effects are just kind of lacking in the Rube Gyro. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.